What's good? This is your boy Zara All Rights Reserve. Let's keep it real, yo. Just yesterday, I sat back and warned 6ix9ine to stop talking about this stuff. Now, a guy named Lil Got It is stepping up to him that is an affiliate of Lil Key because he made a comment, if you guys don't know about YSL, joking about Lil Key in the midst of him talking about the dude snitching, like gunner snitching, in his opinion. This is crazy. He doesn't listen. And here's, remember what I said? He's up there talking with academics. When I'm shocked, why aren't you guys calling out academics? He's the one that got him up there talking. Y'all just calling him out. No, academics keep pushing him up there. They both need to shut up and sit back. It's just like that. Because they do the most. Now, it gets real for him once again. Because they're calling him out like, yo, you did snitch and sent guys to prison. Why are you talking? But let me ask you guys. You got to think logically. How was 6 9 even free walking around? You know the crimes he was implicated in. These guys were doing it for him. You don't think it's baiting you to do something so that you go to jail? Be careful. This guy is walking around free with all that money after he was allegedly with these guys doing hits, move, making moves for him. Something's wrong with that picture. That's not normal. How do he avoid jail? And if he's free walking around, there has to be some reason he is. You got to be careful. Dog, I'm going to just flat out let you know. If you're walking around after you snitched on someone in that manner, sent them to jail, you got to be under some type of protection. There's no way. He's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. That's why he's getting up talking mess. That's why he's getting up saying all this. Because he's trying to get you guys to get violent so that he can lead you to a situation where your freedom's in jeopardy. You guys got to look at the big picture. I need you to look at the big picture. He's not up here talking because he's tough. Talking because he's hard. Talking because he got something to say. He's talking because he's luring you. He's baiting you. Stop letting 6 9 bait you. And I understand your frustration. There's ways about it. I'm not going to sit here and give that to you. Because here, bottom line, you got to make your choices. I know the choices I do. I know what moves I make. But I can't even give that to you. Because you guys have a position to take on in life. And Young Thug and Gunner's about to be free. I don't know. Allegedly. Allegedly now. I don't know what it is behind the scenes that is baiting you guys so much so about the little key thing. Because it is disrespectful. Remember, he's disrespectful to everybody. He mentioned so many people in Chicago's deceased people. Why academics was doing satire. Listen to me. Look at the picture. Act does satire. He mentions people, dead folks. Like, look at what's happening. Don't get baited. Pay attention. He's doing this on purpose. You obviously got to see that. But this is out of line. This is way out of line. That young man you're talking about is gone. You're still... Yo, how is he still free walking around? He, sn he broke every golden rule being a rapper. You here's my thing. If he got up there rapping kind, okay, just being lyrical, all right. He got up there rapping hard, hard like, dog. You were talking tough in every song you were dropping. Then when you get called out, the people around you helping you do the crimes allegedly again, go to jail, off of your testimony. And now you're still talking. When do you get to the point to say I'm about business? I'm so happy Steve got away from you. You're bad business all around. You don't see, you don't think these guys are serious? Dog. They're 6 9 You don't see, do you know these guys? Have you looked up their rap sheets? Do you know how they move? Sir, they're not playing with you. Sir, they are not playing at all. You're talking about one of their siblings that's deceased. Do you understand that? He's no longer here. Do you understand? This is crazy. It's unbelievable. Like, it's inconceivable. The, it, like, he's off the Richter. What are you doing? Are you for real, man? But I get it. Because you don't have anyone around you that was taken out. You took him out by snitching. That's why you feel comfortable because you're the one who tells on people. So you're saying, even if they try, yo, 
6 9 was Charleston White before Charleston White. And even that, I'm sorry, Charleston White, that may be offensive because you ain't telling like that. <laughs> I'm I'm a clear, I'm cleaning up now. You ain't telling like that. You're, you're saying I'm a civilian, but if someone wanted to do something to me, I'm going to make a call. This guy's telling for no good reason. Now he's taunting these guys. And he's going to tell. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't even see Charleston White doing what you're doing. This is insane. He's really comfortable. That's why I say you got to look between the lines. If you're not comfortable, you're doing this on purpose. You're really trying to taunt them because you see dudes about to get off. And now you're like, well, let me be bait to get them to act so that they can get locked back up. That's the only thing I can think. My opinion. Just my opinion. Then you're on a witness stand in the X situation. You fin you finna tell yo, bat I wish Battle Truth sung his song and when he does the thing. Hopefully he does his video and says that. Tell it. Tell it. Cause you gonna tell dog. You gonna tell. You gonna have to. Because here's the thing. The potential you telling on some of the people showing up to give their witness statement is very high. They're gonna be in the courtroom. And you're gonna feel so comfortable. Judges, all them cops. That's why I told them. Once y'all hit the courtroom, it's said it's done. He gonna tell. He gonna tell it all. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys keeping up with this? This crazy. He's back with vengeance, telling like no before, taunting like never before. This is insane. He really has no fear to do this. That's why I'm saying, guys, look at the big picture. Who's behind him backing him to make him feel comfortable? It's not the same dudes he told on. Who is it? Take a guess. All rights reserved.